Hey, you alright guys, you alright? Welcome back, welcome back to the channel. Here we are, Jungle Harry. Um, we, guys, we are at the corner of Van Buren and Halstead. And as you guys can see behind me is the National Hellenic Museum. So that's where you want to come to. Um, if you want to uh, come and check out some, some sort of, pro uh, you know, Greek, probably more of an American Greek uh, history. Um, 126 uh, Jackson bus stop will get you here. Uh, there was another one, I think the the bus route two zero something. Um, anyways, guys, uh, you can you can come up here uh, safe here in the suburbs. Um, you know any of the lines come through Ogilvy train station. That's that's where we come come in today, and that's uh, about five six seven maybe. Maybe nine blocks. I mean, it took me um, six minutes on the old Cirrus. Uh, basically, the new the new addition to the to the cycling family. Um, so we are here at Elysian Field, and there's some nice art installations with something what I what I imagine to be, you know, uh, something to do. There's Zeus on that one. And so you got all the you got all the Greek gods probably represented here. No, this is something the kids do um, uh, at the uh, art institute and everything like that. Um, so this is quite quite a thing. There's Jonah and the whale. Um, Korais. Um, sorry, I'm butchering the Greek, but. Yeah, there's uh, Zeus um, sailing his Poseidon, the famous uh, the famous uh, sloop ship. Um, let's go over there. Let's go out. These guys are just setting things up over here. Um, so let's just uh, regroup here. All right. Yeah, let's go down. Uh, so you got these. Uh, these flags here of uh, the United States, Greece, uh, the flag of Chicago, and the state of Illinois. So that's where we are, guys. We are in Greek town, Chicago, state of Illinois, United States of America. Mark your maps with monsters and the things you do not know. Because the unknown shouldn't scare you from getting where you want to go. Well, what a poem right there, huh? So that's something like um, the Romans used to say, Volenti non fit injuria. To the willing, harm is never done. Well, this is, this is quite cool, guys. This poem is very cool. Mark your maps with monsters and the things you do not know. Because the unknown shouldn't scare you from getting where you want to go. Ha <laughs> ha! How about them apples, huh? Um, so yeah, you got these like donated uh, columns here um, from different child creativity uh, schools. You know, um, these are really, really, really cool, guys. Uh, there's something here in Greek. If anybody can read or speak Greek, you can tell me what that means. Um... But yeah, these are the local Greek schools that kind of do this thing for here. So this is this is amazing, guys. Um, and here's Myron uh, Myron's discus. There we go. I'm getting somewhere. I'm getting somewhere. It's 1896 uh, Olympic Games. Ha! Huh. That was the yeah. That was the uh, Athens Olympic Games. So we're, we're getting somewhere, guys. We're getting somewhere. All right. So what we're going to do is walk down, um, down Greek town. <laughs> um, so here we go. Welcome to Greek town, guys. Uh, we are, what do you guys say? We walk on the, um, sunny side of the street or we lurk in the shadows. Uh, well, we're lurking the shadows of on the first block and then we'll go out to the to the sunny side guys. All right There's the Sears Tower there The Willis Tower as it's known now 
Well, anyways, guys. Um, what you'll notice is street names here carry, as everywhere in Chicago, carry these honorary names like Peter PK7 Krajenis. Krajenis. So, as we walk, you'll see that every every street through Greek, Greek town will have um, will have an honorary name. Um, it's a very nice, crispy morning, and of course, this is a social kind of neighborhood. You know, it's all about being social. It's about meeting and interacting. So, oh yeah, guys. Here's your National Hellenic Museum, your hours of operation, admissions, and so on and so forth. All right, so come check out your history here. There we go. So probably people who've uh, donated to this uh, wonderful museum. And yeah, what you guys will find, we're at Gladys and Halstead now. What you guys find here is, is a lot of, you know, social clubs and a lot of these bar and grills, restaurants. Uh, I think they say there's something like 5,000 um, 5, Greek restaurants in the city of Chicago. So this is, of course, going out, out of um, uh, going out of Greek town. Um guys so you know definitely definitely the greeks have spread um buy four get one free uh the greeks have spread from you know from the original uh neighborhood to uh here and uh growing growing up on the northwest side we didn't have much um of a greek influence out there i don't even know of any uh of any Greek restaurants really in the northwest side of Chicago. Mainly, mainly it's all Polish. But once once in a blue moon, you know, um, once in a blue moon you'll you'll run into a place like this, Mr. Greek Giros. Uh, which you know uh, which will uh, you know which will sort of give you a little bit of a Greek taste of Greece. Chicago's best gyros or iro so you gotta say you gotta say it the right way but we just passed jackson boulevard guys all right here's some iconic chicago stair uh staircases uh sort of emergency style um staircases like that this one got hooked on that light look guys see look it's it's actually resting on the street lamp so yeah the the bus uh, number eight uh, gets you gets you to Greek Town up and down uh, Halstead Avenue, guys. But yeah, look at that. Um, look at those. Uh, see that one actually got hooked. You could clearly see that that is resting right there on that street lamp. Huh? That's that's pretty strange. Well, anyways, let's let's keep going, guys, and let's see who's honorary. Whose honorary name appears on the next block? So here we are at Quincy and Halstead. More restaurants, more restaurants. Oh, there's one of those Zen Leaf places, dispensary for your Mary Joanna needs. So yeah, well, here we are. We're still at uh, Peter PK7. I gotta research this guy and who he is and probably some local you know local hero local activist or someone very important in the greek community um so a few other names um cruising down here so here we are at adams and there's a lovely lovely restaurant there in the corner Free valet parking, Greek Islands restaurant. Um, so yeah, guys. Apropos the um, oh, there's a sound booth here. 
I think the big Greek parade is, is of course, today. Um, they're all ready with the plugs and everything. <clears throat> they're setting up. Let's check out the police line. Do not cross. This is this is this is the iconic thing here. Um, Chicago police, Chicago police line, Chicago police department. Don't mess with them, guys. Um, but yeah, guys, the big parade is is ready to come through town. So they've set up these uh, uh, these speakers, I think, for um, communication, like a PA system or something to that effect. Yeah, it's like it's everywhere. Um, and yeah, there's a, there's another famous Greek on this side. So let's let's not get into these guys' way. See, they're setting everything up right here, working hard. Um, so let's not bother them too much, guys. Uh, let us cross the street onto the sunny side and check out who this man is here, who is. Um, who has been given an honorary street name. All right, we're in front of Greek Islands. So this guy is called Ted G. Spiropolis Way. So we can do our Wikipedia and YouTube research on that guy too. All right, there's a nice little view of the, of, of the partial skyline of the sort of Southwest Loop, guys. All right, let's cross, we got the green. We've got the green slash gray man. Right? There's there's a Greek Walgreens here. And even on the side of the Walgreens, you know, which is an international sort of uh, conglomerate. Um, even on the side of the Walgreens, guys, it says Apotheca. In my very terrible Greek. <laughs> well, I guess that means pharmacy you've done it <laughs> see look it, ha it has a 24 hour sign up there oh, chicago bus coming through transit of chicago all right guys so it says 24 hours up there and see uh, below it says 24 and it has these these greek uh these greek translations everywhere which is fantastic you know, if you kind of, if you're Greek and you come up here and you don't speak a word of English and you're right off, you know, you're fresh off the boat, as they would, they say in Chicago. Um, then you come up to one of these places and look, and there's always any town you're in, there's always an Irish pub. Well, what about your big lad? And look, you got the Greek flag and the Irish flag flying side by side, and of course honoring uh, the fallen brothers of Ukraine. Um, mine God, that is fantastic, guys. And so here we are. See, there it says Pharmacy Apothecio. <laughs> Don't quote me on that. Uh, well, anyways. So, we come down to Monroe. And Greektown basically is, uh, they say it's about 12 blocks, but, it, you know, you could argue that point. Um, in any case, officially, they say it ends at um, Madison, where we kind of pulled in from. So, let's have a, oh, there's some nice, lovely coffee and, um, coffee and bakery smell coming off of that place. There's a Starbucks here in the corner. But guys, what we're gonna check out is probably this uh this little six pillar structure here, which kind of looks interesting. Um so let's see whose honorary way is named after Monroe. Uh so we're at Halstead and Monroe, guys. So we're 800 block west. And so this is how you guys know where you are in Chicago. We're 100 south, 100. So the first block south and eight blocks west of State Street, that great street. Uh, anyways, guys, let's check this out, what this is all about. Yeah, we have more um, school children art in, uh, installations here 
um, different Greek names. This one depicting uh, a lot of different Greek names. That one uh, says the Captain's Promenia. Something to do with the lighthouse, book on lighthouses, yeah? Yeah, this is the lighthouse. Alright, guys. So, Hellas. Hellas. That means Greece in Greek, I believe. Um, so, very, very, very um, tidily uh, kept. If we if we may say, and Mariano's Fresh Market, big 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 chain, has moved in on the Greek produce business. So I guess, as I as I said in the in my previous clip, that the Italians ran out ran the uh, the the Greeks ran the Italians out of the produce business. Well, the the Italians are making a comeback. Check that out, guys. Mariano's in Greek Town. Come check it out. Um, and they don't have anything translated uh, in in Greek on the building. So yeah, I think this is this is war. This is pro produce war of 2022, guys. <laughs> Forty South Halstead. So we're gonna be lurking in the shadows a bit more here. All right. Um, Gonna be lurking in the shadows ju just a little bit more. And I love this Greek flags, American flags hung out. See, so you have an American flag and a Greek flag, American flag and a Greek flag. That is beautiful. So yeah, today is all like all I see on these uh, on these posts, guys, is a no parking towing zone so they're gonna be towing guys big time see oh we are no parking tow zone why so here's some guys with the organizing team i see they're wearing like name badges and stuff oh there's a crown plaza chicago west loop hang on all right, so we are now kind of inching probably towards the end of Greek Town because as I turned a left off of Madison um, into Halstead, there that's where sort of all the signs were pointing me left into Greek Town. So I guess if you guys, if we go right, we will, um, we will not officially be in Greek town, but yeah. So, just to finish up, yeah, see here, you got Frank J. Caputo honorary way. So this is probably a, a little different neighborhood now. Maybe starting like a little bit of the west uh, part of uh, Little Italy, because this this Frank J. Caputo guy sounds familiar. Um, there's there's a supermarket chain called uh, Caputo's which I used to go to all the time as a kid. Um, and so, uh, perhaps this starts like Little Italy. I'm, I'm not sure it does. Um, but anyways, guys. Um, so, what we'll do is we'll hang around here for a little bit. And I'll tell you guys the story of that Saganaki at Parthenon. Uh, which we did not see. But I don't know if the Parthenon restaurant still exists because the saganaki flaming cheese because saganaki basically means sagani which is like a, it's a diminutive of sagani and sagani is an old turkish word word borrowed from arabic uh which just basically means a frying pan and it, in polish we actually use that word too because we we often say sagan Sagan is just a cooking pot, you know, like, um, so anyways, so Saganaki became like a thing when in 1968 at the Parthenon, um, Greek restaurant here, here in Greek town, basically what happened was some rest, some customer basically just said, Hey, can you, you know, light up 
uh, can you just flame up the um, the cheese? And then what they do is they flame it up and they say, Whoppa! Which, I don't know if it means anything. But then they, they use like uh, lime juice um, from a fresh squeezed lime, from a lime. Uh, and they'll just squeeze the lime out to put the fire out. Uh, so if you guys are in, in Chicago... Definitely, if you say, hey, um, do you guys do the saganaki at a Greek restaurant? They will bring you a flaming cheese. Um, because the sagani, saganaki meal does exist in, in Greece. And, however, it they don't flame it up. They just, it's, it's always been a Greek dish. Uh, it's always been, been a Greek dish that's been served out of a frying pan. So you can just fry cheese, you eat it with bread. You can just, you know, fry almost anything and call it saganaki. Um, but it's also, you know, the type of cheese you use. Any of the uh, any of the sort of Mediterranean cheeses uh, from Cyprus, you know, to Syria, to, to Turkey, to Greece, even to Bulgaria. You will. So, yeah, guys, I'm Madison. Um overpass uh for 90 9094 which is the the kennedy expressway here um so we're kind of like walking back here slightly um as i do have a train uh i do have a train coming up at 9 30 to get myself to get me back into the friendly confines of home and Basically, today is the last round of the Premiership. So I, what I intend to do is watch the game at home. Uh, I was going to go out. Uh, but my meetup with, uh, with an old buddy got cancelled. And so here I am. I'm heading back. I am heading back, guys. Uh, back to the station. So... Thank you for tuning in on this little walk of Greek town. Uh, hasta la ciao, ciao, bye for now. Over and out from the concrete jungle of Chicago.